Hello everyone and welcome to the Fintelligent Investor Series by Rupai Financial Services. I am CA Pratiksha Pai. And I am CA Sanket Naik. And today we are having a query on one of our videos by one of our viewers. And so we thought we should make a video to clarify on that query. So this uh, query is asked by a person who calls himself Status Industry. And the query Sanket is like this. I like this query, okay, by the way. Um, if two persons are earning 5,50,000 and 5,60,000, consequently, the first person has zero tax and the second person has 15,080 rupees tax. Is this fair? So, can you first tell us something about the tax labs you can just tell about the first tax labs and how the 5 lakh 50 arrives at a zero tax and the 5 lakh 60 arrives at a 15000 tax and is that fair or no in your opinion yeah it's a very interesting query which they've asked and uh, i think they may be referring to a salaried person because uh, the figures which he has mentioned directly doesn't result in the amounts falling below the amounts chargeable to tax. So, in the salary cases, what is happening nowadays is you get a standard deduction of 50,000. So, in his example, a 5 lakh 50 person, it can result at 5 lakhs, as a 5 lakh 60 person, it can come to 5 lakh 10,000. So, the rebate provision basically what it says is if your income is exceeding 5 lakhs, then you do not get a rebate. However, if your incomes are below 5 lakhs, then in such a case, what happens is even though the normal tax lab is 5% between 2.5 to 5 lakhs, if your incomes are below this 5 lakh limit, you get a rebate to the extent of the taxes payable and you don't have to pay any tax. However, how a rebate works is, once your income crosses this 5 lakh, let's say even by 1 rupee or 10 rupees, then you would still have to pay that 12,500 tax, which would be applicable for that, that slab rate will apply and there will be no uh, exemption available. So the rebate, not an exemption, sorry, a rebate available. So what would happen is, though it's a, it may seem unfair, however, uh, this is a very simple, so let's say if a person who is earning, let's say 10 lakhs or maybe even 25 lakhs. So is it fair that this 12,500 not be paid by them? Because whenever the government increases a tax lab, how it works is no one has to pay a tax on these amounts. This is what used to happen in the past, wherein they increased the tax labs. It used to be at one point of time up to 50,000, up to 1 lakh, up to 2 lakh, 2 and a half lakhs at various points of time over the decades. Not any time soon, but in the past. So whenever they increase the tax slabs, what happens is for any person. So we have lakhs of taxpayers or crores of taxpayers. So for all these people, irrespective of your actual income, you would have to exempt yourself, I mean, they are exempted from paying any tax. But how a rebate works is, only the persons below that threshold limit, so only those people who are having a lower income get the benefit of it. And I think that is the whole point of taxation, why right? people at higher incomes have higher taxes and people at lower incomes have lower taxes. So considering this overall point of view, that is why it was designed. However, unfortunately, there are some people who get stuck by just 10,000 rupees okay. in that example which you mentioned. But if you look at the larger point of view, wherein there are people who earn maybe 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, and this is not only for salary, this provisions applies for everyone. I was just referring to the standard deduction provision which he referred to, which applies only to salaried people. So this uh, rebate provision is applicable and it is applicable only for residents. So if you are a non-resident and you feel that, oh, my income is... Uh, up to 5 lakhs I don't have to pay a tax, that is not correct. Anything about 2 and a half lakhs and up to 5 lakhs for a non-resident is taxable at the slab rate. So also one, should, one can keep in mind that there is also a positive, if you are knowing well in advance that this is how it is going to be or may not even well in advance, even if you know in the March as well for that matter, you can plan and uh, invest in certain deductions or certain exemptions which are given by the Income Tax Act and make sure that your total income comes below that and you are still getting the benefit of this rebate. Also one thing to keep in mind is because of this rebate many people are under the impression that I don't have to file my tax returns if my incomes are 
up to 5 lakhs that is not true please keep in mind that the limits prescribed for not filing a return are only 2 and 1/2 lakhs i think we have referred to this we have done a video on this wherein you have to mandatorily file your returns i'll uh, put a link to that video so you have to you can go through that video and you can know whether you or not you have to file your uh, tax returns so if your incomes are falling between this 2 and 1/2 to 5 you don't have to pay your taxes but you still need to file your return of income So thank you Sanket for such a very detailed uh, clarification. So thank you thank you so much for your query uh, dear viewer and I hope this has clarified uh, your query. Uh, thank you so much everyone for watching and if you have any queries please let us know in the comments and as far as possible we will definitely try to come back and provide our clarifications on that.